What on earth is he looking at now? Well, just, just bear with me. Hello and welcome back, or if this is your first time, then hello, lucky you. So, I live in the UK, which I think everyone knows has the shittest weather possible, and currently we are in the cold and wet phase, which lasts generally for around 50 weeks of the year, but when I say it's cold, I work from a very basic converted garage, which can be bitter despite my pathetic attempts at keeping it warm. So when HIK Micro, HIK, Micro asked if I wanted to look at this, which is their thermal imaging camera. I thought this would be a great opportunity to see where I could be losing heat. So I replied, yes, please. Now this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape or form, but they were kind enough to send me this for free. So thank you for supporting small creators such as me. So before we get into the regurgitated specs, what is a thermal imaging camera? Who is it for and, and why should you care? Well, this particular one is designed for homeowners or DIYers, and I'd go as far as to say YouTubers. It allows you to visualize heat while measuring temperatures so in its most simplistic use case you can clearly see what's hot and what's not. So why should you care about this? Well have you seen the price of electricity recently? It costs a lot to heat a garage. Right before we find out what the specs of this are let's start by seeing what we get in the box. So at time of scripting this video this will set you back 124 Great British Pounds and as always you'll find a link in the video description down below. Thanks! Burped. Right, before I regurgitate the specs on this, I'd just like to premise it by saying this isn't my area of expertise. I only have a very basic understanding of this, so I will do my best, but please don't come for me in the comments. Now, as I mentioned, this is meant for the home user or DIY user to visualize heat patterns, which it does so via a 96 by 96 infrared resolution camera and has advanced infrared technology as well as noise reduction and a smooth video view at 25 hertz. The camera slash view also has picture in picture and the app allows you to record the thermal video as well. With this little device you can get precise temperature readings with a range of minus 20 up to 400 degrees celsius and it's able to detect differences as small as 0.04 degrees Celsius. And speaking of Celsius, it can also uh, measure in Fahrenheit or Kelvins. It has automatic center spot, hot spot, and cold spot presets with the ability to have another three custom area measurements. No battery needed as it connects directly to and is powered by your phone, of which both Android and iOS are supported. And finally, as you saw in the unboxing, it's very small and very lightweight, so portable and quick to use, but I'll be putting the whole plug and play, ready to use in three seconds statement to the test when I do my own testing. I'll include a link below to all of the detail specs so if you need to see all the geeky info you can. Right, with that said, let's go get it set up and tested. Start by grabbing the HIK Micro Viewer app from your app store of choice and then open it. Read some useful or maybe not so useful tips and then do not press add device because this one isn't listed. Instead, connect the camera to your phone and then, well, that's it, <laughs> it's done. Once you disconnect it from your phone, it will then show on the home screen of the app for future reference. With it connected, you should now be able to see the thermal image from the camera on your screen. If you click into measurement and enable center, hot and cold spot, this will put crosshairs on the live view for each of these points, where it will then quickly show you the hottest and coldest point in view and the exact temperature of those specific areas. Palettes will let you choose the color preferences, whilst image lets you set your brightness, contrast, and so on. And there are a few other parameters in the menus that lets you customize your temperature unit ranges and min slash max values among a few other things. So as you've just seen, it's extremely quick and easy to set up. So the whole statement about plug and play, I'd say was pretty accurate. Also, there was no need to sign up to the app, register or provide any kind of details, which I also really like. Now, this is not a cheap item, but also it's not the most expensive when I was looking around Amazon. It is a very specific device, so if you're looking for one of these, the chances are you will probably need one and know more about them than me. However, from the basic research I have done, this does seem to offer value for money. In the box they supply a Type-C extension cable, but their Amazon listing clearly states not to use this, which I thought was a bit odd. 
I've used the cable during testing and it's been absolutely fine for me. As I said, the unit is very small and light, so it would easily fit in a pocket. And in my opinion, the supplied case is rather large and a bit overkill. The app was extremely simple to use and it was very cool to be able to see my studio in a completely different light. Little tip from me to you, be sure to have the camera facing away from you unless you wanna see a thermal close up of your bald head just like I did. I also found it easier to hold my phone upside down so the camera was on top. It just made it easier to point and position. Now, my only question with this would be with regards to its longevity if it were in constant use because as I said, it's small and if it's constantly used, transported around, chucked in bags and in and out all the time, then I'm not sure how last it would really long. But having said that, if you're using it in such a manner, then you're probably not a home user. So if that is more of your use case, then you'll probably wanna look for a more industrial one because this certainly has home user vibes to me. So in summary, is this worth the money? I'm not an expert and I, I don't know is the honest answer. Based on the example use cases I gave, it did exactly what I needed to and it wasn't the most expensive option. So if you have a use case for it, then it does seem worthwhile in my opinion. But as I said, it's expensive and I probably wouldn't buy it just for the simple use case that I had. I'd maybe look to borrow one. But if you have multiple use cases, then yes, certainly worth it. I'll keep it shorter next time. Thanks again to HIK Micro for sending me this. And if you have any questions about it or anything else for that matter, then please do let me know in the comments box down below. And uh, whilst you're down there, please do consider liking the video, even if you didn't. Subscribe if you aren't already and hit the bell to get notified when I upload new videos because in doing so, it helps me get sent more free stuff like this to play with and make videos about. So yeah, thank you and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Throw this chain on me, like they all hate on me. Don't bring that rage on me. Why they throwing shade on me, like they all shade.